My latest series of sculptural art features the use of urethane resin. The numerous casting possibilities of this crystal clear, plastic-like material include color, iridescent powders, and fluorescence. A necessity for a quality casting is a pressure vessel used for the curing process to diminish the microbubbles of air that exist from both mixing the resin and the breathing of the wood during the curing. Affordable, commercially available tanks are too small, so I made my own. So over here, I find I've got my, my portable air pressure tank, and uh, I thought if it just had a flange on it, cut it open. Okay, so I found some steel. Uh, I've had this laying around the shop for a while. I think that snuck out the back door of a machine shop, so thanks to you, sir, who gave it to me, uh, but we won't name any names. Here's my 1935 Reed Prentice engine lathe. An old feller once told me there are more of these at the bottom of the ocean than there are on land. Reed Prentice got the contract to put these in a lot of the Navy battleships. So in World War II, they were pretty much the standard, on, standard equipment in all the, all the ships' machine shops. Check this out. I got the manual for this old machine. This is back when Timken roller bearings were first being man mass produced. That was a big deal. Beautiful airbrushed photos showing how they manufacture them, cut their own gears. Lovely. I've even got the original assembly drawings. Cool, look, it fits. Isn't that nice? All right, I need a burl. I think I want the one in the bottom. No, that one. The resin is mixed in equal parts by weight. First one part, then the other. Homemade stirring tool. What am I making here? But I gotta pour this six times. I'm gonna make a panel on each of the six sides of this non-true square. It's more of a diamond. It's gonna be cool. Time to bake the cake. Opening this tank the next morning is like is like baking a cake. You open the oven, and here's the finality of all your good work. Except I've never baked a cake. Before taking the the cover open, I gotta drain it. <clears throat> After a lot of sanding and a little shaping, here's the finished product. I made a painted steel base on the old lathe and then headed to the Bayou City Arts Festival in Houston, Texas. The wood is California Buckeye Burl with red resin and pearlescent mica powder. And then this creature walked up. Fabulous. Well, thank you. Wow, so you're a living sculpture. That's incredible. <laughs> okay, let's, let's see this movement again. Do you need a water? Need a water. <laughs> Do you need a water? Yeah, how, I'd have to bring it to you so you could drink it. <laughs> Josh, do we, do we need one of those? Yeah, two. We need two. 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 <laughs> All right, let's make another one. This is Maple Burl. I just made up this little box. Put a couple screws in there because we don't want the pieces to float. All seams are then sealed with a hot glue gun to prevent any seepage of the thin liquid. There it is.
For my next piece, I'm going to use leopard wood. Pretty. Some gold mica flake. So then I'm just going to drag it through. Redwood and a Banksia seed pod. Air filter. On. Vibration dampening gloves. In process. All right, lots of refining needed yet. I've got to bring these uh, feathering louvers into the center so they stitch in a more uh, pleasant manner. I want it to look like a plant that grew this way. Yeah, this, this is exciting, look at this. Keep my cuts all files and quick access in these little drawers. There is not a single sculpture I have made where I did not use cuts all burrs. All those little teeth there are carbide, brazed onto a solid steel arbor. This is the the gold color, which represents uh, cuts all's finest grade. That's a quarter inch arbor. Works great. I've skipped recording the long sanding process th with this piece, which started with 150 grit, progressed all the way to 1500 grit. Then after three coats of Minwax wipe on polyurethane, it was buffed with the Beale buffing system. Here's a blue one. I won best of show in the wood category at the Woodlands Waterway Arts Festival near Houston, Texas last weekend. Then I came home and my dogs ate the ribbon. Ugh! Puppies. You guys got all this stuff to eat, and you have to take my art award. Oh, what's that? What'd you eat? Puppies. There's another use for a hot glue gun. Good as new. I decorate my shop with my awards. So, yeah, I found a place for my chewed up, my chewed up ribbon. Here's my favorite award from the collectors of wood art. By the way, wooddatabase.com, check out their posters. They're great. Here's my other poster from Wood Database. All the rosewood species. Ah! <laughs> Is that a scarecrow? Yeah. It's scary. It's scary and funny. What's he saying? He's saying he, he wants, to, wants to eat. What does he eat? Um, he eats. He eats metal, and then the metal no, turns he, into horns. He eats, he eats, um, he eats giant tires. He eats car stuff. Cars and stuff. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's almost he, he, he's a robot monster. So he's a deer too. He's a deer. Yeah, 
Hey, dear, too. Are you guys good friends? <laughs> so, um, I'm going to make another one for you. It's good to meet you. Oh, he said, yeah, he says, I'm going to make you too. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thanks for watching. Here's a maple burl with a Banksia seed pod and a West Texas mesquite burl with a resin inlay. See you next time.